Yeah. I'm just gonna keep my hood on because my bed head is literally so bad that I can't expose myself. But Cody got us a French press and I've been using this Ethiopia Starbucks medium roast citrus and dark cocoa in it and it is my latest addiction and it's right here and I'm gonna show you why it's so fun so basically you just put the coffee in and like I said I'm using the Starbucks one and then you boil the water and then you put in the coffee and the water and you let it sit for like five minutes and then how fun is this I don't know if it like if I even like taste a major difference between this and like the coffee that I make out of the pot, but how fun is that? How cute is that? September the 12th right here in front of the Waverly but unfortunately I lost his address so I decided I'm gonna try and like wing it at making vegan banana bread cupcakes and then I'm going to make some kind of chocolate hazelnut frosting with this I don't think this is vegan but modified milk ingredients so no but the <laughs> cupcakes are going to be vegan and then this is going to be in the frosting so if you don't like that then you could still make the cupcakes but fingers crossed that this turns out can you see what i'm doing if i make it here <clears throat> yes okay so i've got these bananas i also have this one frozen banana that i'm going to try and use first um, now I'm gonna need some flour. Let's turn on the oven to 350. And almond milk. And I'm gonna have some olive oil. I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but I'll take it up anyway. I'm just gonna run this banana under hot water while we are getting it ready. Balance this on an applesauce. Is that better? this way so this is what I have so far I've got some flour got some pumpkin pie seasoning I've got almond milk baking powder coconut sugar icing sugar salt hazelnut spread olive oil and I've got some bowls that I'm gonna mix it in I've got these little dishes I don't really use measuring cups I don't know I'm just gonna eyeball this entire recipe I don't have baking soda, so I'm going to triple the amount of baking powder and use that spatula. And let's wish me luck. I'm just peeling and mashing my ripe bananas into this dish until it is completely full. They say that it's actually easier to peel bananas the other way around. But, oh well, I'm doing it this way today. This is probably going to be enough bananas. I'm just going to scoop out that brown part. Alright, that should be enough banana. Finish mashing it up. Now, I'm going to fill one of these with whatever kind of sugar you choose. Say this is half a cup, and this would be double, a full cup. And toss that in there. 
then I'm going to do two thirds of one of these of oil. That's probably gonna be enough. Now I'm just gonna mix all that up. Now I'm gonna fill this up with almond milk. Dump that in there. And mix that up. Boop. Now I'm going to do one and a half of these big ones of flour. Putting that in a separate dish. That should be good. Now I'm going to do three of these of baking soda. Or baking powder, sorry. Half of one of those of salt. Boop. Now I'm going to just dump in some of this pumpkin pie seasoning. Should be good. Should be lots. And I'm actually just going to add a package of this Quaker apple cinnamon and some oatmeal. And I'm just gonna blend that all together. Pray to Jesus that it works. Because I'm literally like creating this off the top of my head. Like a mad scientist. Now I'm gonna dump my wet mixture into my dry mixture here. I'm just going to use my spoon. To get all the coconut sugar out of there. And then I'm going to blend this all together. Uh oh, my spatula is breaking the drama. You see it snapping? Okay. Okay, so here's the real kicker. I thought I had a cupcake tray and I don't even. So I'm gonna use this Betty Crocker cake pan. I think it's like a nine or eight by 11 and a half or something, I don't know. I'm going to use a tiny bit more olive oil in the pan. And I'm just going to use the end of my spatula to smear that around the bottom of the pan. This isn't really too necessary. But yeah, we're gonna be having squares today now instead of Muffins or cupcakes, so you know, rolling, rolling with the punches. You gotta be spontaneous in life. You gotta be adaptable, willing to go with the flow and move with the changes. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour this concoction into the pan and pray once again for the best because you know, today's mad science experiment has had a lot of turns and turves already. I don't even know if that was a word. But anyways, put that aside. Now I'm just gonna smear this around in the pan until it's nice and even. I don't know if this is gonna come out like a cake, if it's gonna come out like squares. I literally don't know. I see like a brown piece of banana that I do not want in here. Oh, never mind. That was sugar. I have no idea. Ooh! How long to put this in for? Then I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 350. 
and see what happens. So it is 7.47. I just popped the banana, brownie, whatever, square things into the oven and I'm just going to be checking on them like every 10 minutes or so and see what happens. Now I'm going to clean up the kitchen and this mess that I've made while I'm waiting and uh, maybe go check on my laundry and then I'll be right back up to check on the muffins. So now I'm just making some rice and sauteing some spinach while the banana oat cinnamon bars, whatever we want to call them, are in the oven. They've been in there for about 15 minutes now and they smell amazing. So these have been in for about 10 minutes and they smell absolutely delicious. So this is my super, super simple vegan dinner of steamed rice and sauteed spinach and olive oil that I made for myself while my banana loaf oatmeal thing is cooking. So I'm going to make a hazelnut coffee chocolate, whatever you want to call it, icing frosting for these banana whatever. So I'm going to start with just about this much coffee that I have French pressed. It's maybe like two and a half, three tablespoons-ish. Then I'm going to put in a generous helping of this hazelnut. Basically, this is President's Choice brand Nutella. I'm just going to pop that in the bowl there. I'm going to go in for a tiny bit more. Put that aside. So that's what we have in the bowl so far. Just coffee and Nutella. Just going to mix that up. Dissolve the Nutella into the coffee. Then to this muddish consistency, I'm going to add a splash of oil. And some icing sugar until I get the texture that I want. So I'm just adding a touch of olive oil. So now I'm just adding the icing sugar until it gets to the consistency that I want. And I'm going to go for more of a glaze today than like a super heavy, thick frosting. That's why I am not using a beater or a rotary blender or anything like that. And that's why I put some coffee in here so that it would be a little bit more liquidy. Because this isn't like a cake or anything, so I don't need like a giant fluffy frosting. Just a little coffee, chocolate, hazelnut, something or other to spice up this banana heaven. So this is what we have. That's about the consistency that I was going for. Like, more of like a caramel kind of ganache. Then like a full-on whip frosting. We're going for like a coffee house look here. Now I'm just melting this ganache frosting coffee hazelnut chocolatey goodness on top of this while it's still hot so that it gets like that sticky toffee coffee cake kind of feel. I want it to like melt right into this baby. Infuse it with sugar. So this is what the finished product looks like while it is cooling off. And we're going to give it a taste test in a minute. 
I'm so excited And I just can't fight it Boom, boom. I know, I know, I know I think I like it First impressions. Mm. Mm. It's perfect. It's like a spicy banana, a sticky toffee pudding. That turned out way better than I was expecting. At the beginning here, I was expecting to be making and just vegan banana muffins. Mmm. Beautiful. So it is about 10 o'clock. I just finished folding all of my laundry. I am watching, watching some beauty gurus. I'm just watching Alyssa Ashley on YouTube right now. And I'm having myself... Another piece of coffee cake that I made and some apple cinnamon tea and then I'm heading off to bed because I work tomorrow. That is going to be it for this video and I hope that you all, as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ah, cat, get out. She says hi. Hi. Giving yourself a little bit more room to work with. However, um, in the as we go on in the video, you'll see why that may not necessarily work out. So let me just go ahead and do this other eyebrows so you guys can see the difference and see how this is really highlighting my hood and where you know the brow that I'm drawing is kind of decreasing. Okay, bye guys.